For some people, a stock Hellcat just isn't enough. Hey. Today I have here a 2015 Dodge Charger Hellcat. Much like how the Hellcat isn't your average car, this isn't your average Hellcat. Dubbed the Enforcer, the name certainly matches the look. Wrapped, dropped, and widened, this stands out very easily. Normally I have to struggle to see the Hellcat logo on the side, but with this one, not so much. Its stance is mean, and its sound is even meaner. The rims, light kit, and front push bar are the visual icing on top, not to mention it's jammed with an additional 100 horsepower under the hood because 707, eh, it's just not enough. I could argue that Greg, the owner of this animal, properly modified this Hellcat to reflect the type of car that Dodge made, since they certainly didn't do that from the factory. And the eye candy doesn't stop on the outside. Under the hood, he's added some flair to properly accent the engine bay. A pulley swap, intake, and Diablo tuner with a custom tune bring this to 720 wheel horsepower. I've placed a full list of changes Greg has done in the description below. There isn't an angle that this car isn't a treat to look at, so I highly suggest you pause this video, navigate to Greg's Instagram page, and join the 60,000 plus people who love looking at this. My favorite part of the day is opening the app and seeing something like this. <laughs> because this guy knows the absolute best ways to show off his creation. His custom exhaust utilizing an electric cutout allows this to go from an unsuspecting, hey, look at this awesome ride, to holy hell cat, did you see that car that just flew by? And here's another quick donut. After doing his daily burnout, we hit the road to show me how it drives and to discuss what he's done. So obviously you raise the car currently. Yeah. To make sure we're not gonna scrape this thing along the ground. How's the road clearance now once it's lifted? It's good. I just have to pay attention to when you're turning. Now you have to watch the clearance of the flares. Well, you can't hit a bump mid-turn if you're locked, you know. I'm very like, oh, oh, oh. I'm still like that. Just, I don't want to scrape anything or hit anything yeah, as I drive my I don't car. blame you at all. You're not really taking it easy over bumps either. No. But I'm, I'm just, I've been driving with low profile tires my whole life. Did you purchase this new? I did not. You did not, I so this is second hand. How many miles were on it when you got it? Like 25. 25,000? Yeah. Okay. A, a nice and broken in for you. You said you added an additional 100 horsepower, was it yeah. overall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was from an intake, now ECU change as well? It you was did ECU too? change and the pulley. delicate that is a lot smoother than Very i would have smooth. anticipated it being i thought it was going to be more of a chaotic no. kind of turn up if i open the exhaust it might sound a little yeah. more chaotic okay. exhaust right now to me is quiet this is very quiet this is, totally yeah. this is There's totally drivable this is totally drivable no, drone. no. Yeah. i mean i need that because i want the sound but i want it when i want it so i picked up this car in virginia and he didn't tell me that he didn't have the red key until i got there so i'm here i am about to drive this car back and i was like i've been so hyped up getting a hellcat and I don't even have the red key. But the black key with the 500 horsepower, I mean, uh, coming from a SRT8, 6.1 liter with the 430. So it was um, much more torque because of the supercharger. So yep, it was yep. night and day. Even at 500. Power. Night and day. So then once it you got to 700. It was igniting the tires. How big was your smile at 700 I horsepower? Couldn't, I then? couldn't. I you couldn't, couldn't even hold I it. I couldn't. I was blown away by the numbers when they released this car. Yeah. Like, 204 miles an hour in a four-door sedan? That's crazy. That's absolutely from crazy. From Dodge, I was like, holy shit. I used to look at Dodge's like, that's what uh, Al Bundy drove, you know? I never, <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it as something that I wanted. Short of the interior, that is the only place where I kind of see this car falling off, mm. which is kind of like the materials that they put around a car like this. Right. I feel like this still could have been a showcase for them. When we first picked up our, our Hellcats, like me and the guys in my club, uh, my friend's car was white, and he's like, yo, you got a rental car with a freaking supercharger in it. Because it looks like a rental <laughs> yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was nothing distinctive about it. Anybody who has a Hellcat is not going to be a fan of their strategy in terms of the cosmetics of the car. 
they made a scat pack an srt you know all these cars that have similar styling cues so you don't have to have the 70 grand for a hellcat yeah you can get a scat pack and then have it look like a hellcat yeah or look as nice and to me that from a from a financial standpoint for a company that was genius but somebody who has a hellcat they're like oh you know everybody can have my car you know that's what i'm trying to do with my cosmetic spin on the car it's basically this is what dodge should do you know if they're going to come out with a car that has 700 horsepower Again, match- the fastest production sedan in the world your car should look this much different than the base model what i'm loving about this right now is that it is so drivable is that this is very welcoming very comfortable. it's it's comfortable it's quiet but just to kind of kind of get your point across by watch how fast this thing can go and you know la di da we have the ac on and everything is nice you know what i mean it's actually A little more chaotic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I opened the valves up. Holy shit! Yeah, you did. <laughs> when guys come up to me and they see their car on the highway and then they'll they'll flip their exhaust or do something. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that smells glorious too. Yeah, you nah. get that really so well burning. I have the no the, the cats. I actually, I think I want to put back and maybe get like a high flow cat because I don't want any engine codes. You know, I got a few check engine light drives. Oh, here we go. I mean, you have to. Yeah, I don't blame you. I want to hear it. That transmission is incredible. You don't even feel those shifts. Woof. stick i love this transmission love it love it that was actually a lot more locked on the road than i kind of would have expected to be honest with you and, and how much do you contribute that to the wideness of the tires and the kind of the stretch that you I did on she, i think she handled good before i mean you know obviously now i have 12 and a half 335s in the rear i mean i'm sure it handles better as a wider track i definitely have more contact patch but with the factory wheels and tires on this car you were spinning all over the place ridiculous right? i mean close that because they can't even yeah. <laughs> i love it though i love that it's the flick of a button now you hear the super oh track. yeah now i gotta say that's kind of my sound man yeah. that's like they're both fun but the 411 pound feet of torque at idle is insanity right you know what i mean the pull of this thing is monstrous it doesn't seem scary you know i feel like i've been more scared in slower cars mm. so to speak then this is and it's also quiet it's well built in a sense that i don't feel i don't know i don't feel exposed to the outside in a weird way i, I do feel kind of coddled in this right, car right. i mean now this is <laughs> this is funny yeah. i don't put it past anyone from somebody in the faster seat it's terrifying <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to ask full throttle the whole time that was yeah when once you, were, I right, once you got it, on it right yeah, I was on it I mean once I played with him a little bit the, yeah yeah so but it does seem like I kind of thought this would be a lot less manageable as far as when you could put the power down two things in the beginning when you're not used to the car that's one two driving in just regular automatic I feel like you it's less manageable because you just the car's just gonna bang and shift when you want it but i'm in in manual mode so yeah. i'm controlling the gears i feel a lot more control do you find way. that the transmission kind of seeks a little too much when you're in automatic mode not necessarily but it's all about the the the, the slowing down and then preparing for a spot yeah you know when you're in just um automatic mode you don't really have the engine braking and i need that yeah when I'm doing yeah so that, that kind of gives you the added stability right, right, right. this is kind of a an art piece of uh 
of a Dodge, which is, I gotta say, weird for me to say. What you've done too, it just really takes it to the next level. With that wide body kit, and then with that rear end, something about, well, I don't know what you did with the diffuser on the bottom, or whatever it is, it just widens the whole thing, and it gives it such a presence from the back end. I'm always driving it, so I see it, you know, I park it, and I, as I'm walking down the block, I'm and like, you what turn the around. hell yeah. did I do? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't get to see it, I'm usually in the car. I don't really see yeah. the, the, the the version that you saw when you were driving behind me. When I was laughing in my car. I'm <laughs> laughing as I'm following behind you. I'm like, this guy's insane and I love it. What I think is really cool is that anywhere I drive this car, this is all I see in my rear view mirror. <laughs> that's all I see. I think that's the, that's the, the best compliment to give you yeah. is the fact that people must videotape and must take pictures. And I get why people want to take pictures since it's unlike any other Hellcat I've personally seen. It's one thing to have a cool car, but it's another to be a cool car owner, and Greg is just that. Not only does he have an eye for aesthetics when it comes to his build, he also did some of the work himself, including the light kit, suspension, and front push bars. He's created a usable show car and wraps his love of photography into it in the best way, which is why if you haven't yet, go follow him on Instagram to see the continuing process of this Hellcat since he's already wondering what he can do next. Obviously, certain modifications are in everyone's cup of tea, so if you hate a certain aspect, be nice in the comments. Nobody likes an asshole. I really have nothing to say more, but I'm desperately trying to include every single video I took of this car since they're all so awesome. If you enjoyed what you see here, like and subscribe. If not, let me know why in the comments. And as per usual, thank you for watching. So now it's in full valley mode. Okay. That's full oh, to the floor. You saw man. it. I can't even peel out if it's wet. You should race my Integra in Valley of <laughs> I guarantee you'll win. Let's try it. That'd be funny.